of JB Hi-Fi's um, release today because as Peter said they were already hosing down expectations and then yet another downgrade. Brooke, this story is all about what's happening in the marketplace and if we have a look at the market that JB Hi-Fi operates in, what we are seeing are its competitors trying to get rid of excess inventory, older stock and they're doing that through discounting. So JB Hi-Fi has to remain competitive and they've done that by following their competitors with discounting. We know that in this area Dick Smith is on the, um, the the chopping block and so they're probably trying to get rid of excess inventory and trying to get leaner and meaner before that's sold off by Woolworths and longer term this is probably going to be a good thing for JB Hi-Fi because they'll probably be able to increase its market share in the area hopefully getting about 30 percent of uh, Dick Smith's business um, because it is the best in breed in this area but the fact is that the market is clearing excess inventory and it's doing this by severe discounting and that's been shown in the margins that we've seen today if we have a look at that uh, March quarter we've actually seen margins down by 200 basis points now that's compared to the half year where we saw margins down by 30 basis points so you can see exactly where JB High is hurting at the moment because sales are increasing in that March quarter we actually saw sales up by 8.8 percent part of that is the rollout of new stores because if we have a look at it on a comparable basis up by 1.3 percent but the fact is that sales have been increasing for the quarter but what's really hurt is the fall that we've seen in margins and that's really because of the marketplace we are seeing excess inventory and older inventory are being cleared out and that's led to really that downgrade that we've seen come through from JB Hi-Fi. I guess what JB Hi-Fi needs is perhaps a, a new rollout of a product like uh, perhaps a new iPhone to help boost sales and margins but really in the short term it's about what's happening in the marketplace with its competitors clearing out excess inventory, margins falling for JB Hi-Fi even though sales have held. Um, we were speaking earlier with CMC's Mike McCarthy, he was hoping for that long-awaited breakout in the Australian market. Will we get it today? I guess one of the things that's going to put a dampener on the Australian market today is the uh, the downgrade that we've seen for, for Spain coming through from Standard and Poor's and we've seen both the short term as well as the long term rating being downgraded, the long term rating being downgraded from A to triple B plus and that's had an impact in terms of markets and we can see that uh, quite clearly in terms of the currency markets. We have a look at the euro versus the US currency, this is the intraday graph, you can see exactly what's happened from that downgrade this morning and we've seen a pretty sharp reaction in the US dollar versus the euro so we have seen a weakening off of that euro and that's expected to uh that's a reflection, I guess, on risk assets. So while we saw a good lead from the U.S., especially with those pending home sales being up by 4.1%, and that should have a flow-on effect for uh, the likes of James Hardy, that S&P downgrade probably going to be in focus during that Asian session, especially given that we do see some Italian bond uh, auctions tonight. It is going to be a big day in terms of the Australian market and local news. We've already seen Atlas Iron uh, coming out with its production result and some growth plans there, and that's while Jim Chanos, our U.S. hedge fund manager, put some short um, and bets against Fortescue, saying that these iron ore miners, they're fueled by debt and they're increasing production at a time when China's demand is flattening off. We've also seen Sundance has managed to get Cameroon government approval, um, so that's a huge positive now. The market's going to be looking to see whether Hanlon can get funding for that takeover deal, which is at 57 cents. And we've also seen Gloucester come out and upgrade its reserves in the Gloucester Basin. So a big day in Australia but altogether that positive lead from the US probably going to um, be washed away to a certain extent by that downgrade that we've seen from Standard & Poor's for Spain.